Polycyst and cold water loft header tanks. Our polycyst tanks are available in two capacities and both come complete with an installation kit. The tanks will fit through virtually all of today's loft openings and is a standard cistern unit. Capacity 114 litres, 25 gallons. Length 855 millimetres, 33 and 3 quarter inches. The width is 508 millimetres, 20 inches. Height 515 millimetres, 20 and a quarter inches. Capacity 181 litres, 40 gallons. Length 1264 millimetres, 49 and 3 quarter inches. The width 670 millimetres, 26 and a half inches. Height 440 millimetres, 17 and a quarter inches. Carefully remove the lid from the inside of the tank. Remove the kit from inside the tank and take the contents from the plastic bag. Spread the contents out in front of you and ensure you have all the contents to proceed and there is nothing missing. Using a tape measure, a felt tip pen or marker, mark the holes to be drilled. Don't use a scribe or sharp implement. First the ball valve. This valve is situated 60mm from the top of the tank. Mark the hole to be drilled with a light marker or crayon. Next make a mark for the warning pipe hole. This should be 90mm from the top of the tank. Use a sharp 22mm sharp hole saw. Drill the hole for the ball valve and a 27mm hole saw for the warning pipe. Turn the tank around and mark the hole for the outlet pipe. This hole should be 50mm from the bottom of the tank. Again mark with a light marker or crayon. The hole is drilled using a sharp 22mm hole saw. This is the hole for the 22mm compression tank connector that will be the outlet. Having transferred the pre-drilled tank into the loft area, the first thing to put in and fasten is the 22mm compression tank connector. Make sure the rubber washer is fitted internally and the plastic one to the outside, and then assemble the outlet pipe. Take the ball valve after attaching the 4.5 inch float and assemble into the tank. Pass the brass connector through the hole and fit the ball valve back plate to the outside face of the tank. The back plate is designed to spread the load of the continually moving ball valve as the tank empties and fills. The next thing to fit is the screened elbow fill to mesh warning pipe to the other hole. This warning pipe accepts any 22mm overflow warning pipe, including copper. Then push fit internally the dip tube into the elbow. Now connect the 22mm warning pipe to the screened warning pipe elbow. Attach the cold water pipe to the surface valve connection and tighten, ensuring fittings are held firm while tightening. Turn on the cold water supply stop cock, which is usually found under the kitchen sink. Turn the service valve, using a screwdriver, to the on position, which is in line with the water flow. As the tank fills, Check all around for leaks using iron hand. Fit the cistern lid making sure the skirt overlaps the base making a seal. Use the skirt straps provided and pull tight and fasten to complete the seal. Fit the insulation jacket provided in the kit around the base, loop the ribbon around the tank and tighten.